Today I'm going to be reviewing my 1 and 24 scale 1986 Buick T-Type. Extremely clean example. It does have functioning doors. Oh no, they don't open. Okay. Well, it does have a functioning hood. Oh, that doesn't open. Okay. God dang it. Oh, it fell apart. Like this. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. So it's like this, and then we got to put our cold pipe. Or this is actually, yeah, this is our charge pipe right here. Not doing good here. Today we'll be reviewing my 1 and 24 scale 1986 Buick T-Type. I just lost the emblem earlier, but I will find it and it will be included in the sale. Uh, it does have a chrome grill. It does have those really cool wheels. Um, underneath it is really clean, it's nice. No, no, there's no rust at all. Underneath it is our beautiful 1986 Buick Grand National that we actually are selling. It's extremely clean, it's 41,000 miles. It has had a repaint, which is better than factory. And it's T-tops, so you can pop them off and go cruise by the beach. It has ice cold air. It has the uh, GN sty GNX style wheels, which are actually Pontiac wheels. Uh, the lips are very nice. And I'm wearing our Turbo T. So we have these in multiple colors, multiple sizes. You're going to click on the link below. You can get yourself one of these retro Turbo Ts. We're going to take this thing for a spin. We're going to do a walk around and you're going to see underside shots on our gallery. If you want to ship this thing worldwide, no problem. Also, we have five in stock. We'll be able to help you out with financing. I'm going to rate the condition of this one an 8 out of 10. Paint shows extremely well. 86 has the chrome grill. 87 has the black grill. All your headlight bezels are in really nice shape. The turbo emblems on the hood are in great shape. And then the T-tops seal up nicely, and they are easy to take off. I don't see any sun fade on the T-top itself. It still has that cloth underneath it, which is original. I'm gonna open the hood so I can show you what was done to it. This does have pipes exhaust. It does have a, uh, basically a cat delete. 60 pound injectors, turbo tweak chip, and it's running around 16 pounds of boost. We have five more of these in stock. So these are the only two that we've been able to list up. You make sure you follow our Instagram. Open up the hood. Struts work as they should. It's been converted, so it has 134 in it now ice cold air. This engine bay is extremely clean because it has 41,000 miles. Valve covers are nice. It still has a stock intercooler. And all it has, as I said before, 60 pound injectors, upgraded fuel pressure regulator, which is what you're supposed to do with the turbo tweak. And it's running about 16 pounds of boost. And it's extremely fun. The tires grab very well, the BF Goodrich tires. They have 95% tread. You can still see some of the factory markings. And this is the correct black that you would see underneath a factory style hood. It's not spray painted, uh, battery tie downs proper, and the air condition, as I said, is ice cold. Cruise control works. Let's walk down the driver's side. Ooh, it's hot today here in Florida. Driver's side shows very well. Uh, front bumper is very nice as well. There's no imperfections on it. Bumper fillers have been replaced. Uh, bottom chin, sp chin spoiler is very nice as well. I don't see any dents or dings in this car. Got your G-Force, BF Courage G-Force is right here. And as I said, they have 95% tread. Wheels are in great shape. They have a polished lip. Your emblems are in great shape as well. When you open up the door, you're gonna see that these are still original. So if you wanted to bring it to the next level, you could replace them. Door cars are in very nice condition and it does have some power options. So you have power windows and a power seat. Steering wheel's in great shape. It does have the digital dash. so. You're not going to have that analog dash. Has the uh, upgraded boost gauge in the right in front of the center console, and then I believe that's the new Scan Master as well. So it's like a it's like a pod that circle that's next to it. I'll show you how that works when we go for a test drive. Interior is original and shows very well. Your small portion of headliner back here is very nice, and you are going to still see that the actual lights are illuminating. Horn works. Radio works, air condition works, carpet is extremely nice and original, and it does have aftermarket Grand National uh, mats. Seat does work. That's perfect right there. Rear seats are in good shape as well, and then when you look down here, you're gonna see that this is all very clean. No rust, look at the door sill. Let me get out of this little crevice. Door sill's nice and clean. Rear quarter is in great shape, no imperfections, and you can see the pipes exhaust coming out. 
while you pan over, take a look at the bumper. You can see how nice it is. All the bumper guards are in very good shape. Sorry about all the dust. They're doing construction over here. But as I said, this is easily an eight. I would say closer to eight and a half out of 10. Trunk is very clean. There's your T-top bags and then the original catalytic converter. So you're, if you're in California, there you go. Put that back on and you're good to go. Here's your SPID WE2 option, Grand National, it's real. You do have your power trunk assist, so you, inside the glove box you can click a button and you'll be able to open up the trunk. There's no rust on any of the components here. This is extremely nice and original, and these look to be original gaskets and they're in great shape. Spare tires here, and the trunk closes easily. Tail light bezels are in great shape. I do see a little bit of overspray. It's like a clear coat, which can be buffed out right here. And that's just me being really picky. This paint is killer. Passenger side is the same as the driver's side. Shows extremely well. One small little scratch right here. And I'm just being picky. All the rubber is good around here. Shows really well. And look, when you start to wipe it, you'll see how nice the actual paint is. I hate wiping dust like this but it's very, very clean. Passenger side, same as driver's side. Um, we're gonna have to go to the front because I wanna show you a small imperfection that's on that dash pad, but otherwise, very, very nice. Also, take a look at this. Nice and solid, no rust, no rust in these corners. We got our 454 truck here that's headed to Texas. And then here's another Grand National that we just got into, by the way. So that's an 87 T-top that has 91,000 miles. Actually really, really, really peppy. It shifts into second, it chirps into second. So we've got our kill list inside there. That should be listed up next week. 54 Bel Air, that's gonna be going up soon. I think we're gonna put that on Bring a Trailer. A lot of documentation and trophies with it. Uh, let's start this up and go for a ride. So there's that small imperfection right here. If you look at the dash, you can see that it's starting to tear slowly on that seam. I'm just being picky. Uh, you could probably honestly glue that, but I, I wouldn't do it because super glue and these materials do not like each other. So this is VIN number 2800. That's pretty neat. And all the black is nice. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas and we'll take it for a ride. so we're gonna film underneath this one. You can see that it's extremely clean. Someone has painted the chassis already, probably when they did the paint. You can, you've got your pipes exhaust here, and then you do have the Bill Steen stress that I was talking about. That changes the drivability of this car tremendously. All of your mounts for the rear diff are nice, so you're not gonna have that G-body walk. Uh, what that means is when it starts to like skirt to one side. Uh, they do make amazing aftermarket connectors that'll be a little bit thicker metal, and that'll help tremendously along with a bigger sway bar. But this doesn't need it. I do see a hot wire kit, so you do have a hot wire kit to run that fuel pump uh, harder, basically. Floor is really nice. It does have a cat to leave, as I said before, but the stock cat is gonna be included, so if you do buy it and put it in California, you can put that cat on. I do see a little bit of oil here from the rear main seal, but guess what? Every single one of them is gonna end up leaking at some point. It's, it depends on how much it's leaking. We've repaired these so many times and then it ends up leaking after driving it hard a couple of times. But I didn't wipe it. I'm showing you exactly how it is because that's how you should be sold a car. Uh, proportioning valve's in really good shape. Steering arm is in really good shape. Uh, filter's fine. I don't smell any coolant. We were running it pretty hard. The temperature went to like 210, so not too bad. Tires, as I said, have 95% tread. It's a beautiful car, so whoever gets this one's gonna be very happy. We also have five more in stock. We just got this 28 Dodge in. We're gonna be doing uh, some interior work, and then we're gonna be selling that. The GT500 just sold on Bring a Trailer, and someone got a really good deal, and this thing rips. Porsche just sold on Bring a Trailer. We just sold our two motorcycles to Japan. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of more cars in the other warehouse, so keep your eyes tuned and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.
I'm sitting inside the driver's seat right now. Steering wheel is in great shape. Small little imperfection right here, and you do have your digital gauges. Uh, your passenger side mirror control. You've got your light controls here. Air condition is blowing cold. And then I believe this is the new Scan Master. I've never seen this before, but um, you can actually go through everything just like the Scan Master. So this must be V3. Coolant temperature, air temperature, your TPS. Trouble, you can read through trouble codes. And then this will be your boost gauge. We'll show you how that works. Radio works great. Good song for this car ride. Let's do it. We're going about 40 miles an hour right now. This thing rides excellent because it has Bilstein struts. That makes these cars ride so much better. It also has a pipes exhaust, and then it has a perfect set of modifications. So you have your new Scan Master, which is amazing. You've got 60 pound injectors and a turbo tweak chip, which is giving it 15, basically 16 pounds of boost. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna turn left here, and I'm gonna brake boost it while we're rolling. So what that means is I'm actually gonna hold the brakes and build a little bit of boost. And you ready? And we're to 60. This thing runs great. And remember, this is basically stock. So you just have a chip and a tune and exhaust. That's nothing. We'll take it for a little bit longer of a ride. We'll get some outside shots and you guys can decide on if this is the right Grand National for you. I want you to look at our track record for selling these. Uh, we've sold close to 40 of them. And these are one of our favorite cars to sell because we know them inside and out. We might ask for a higher price, but that's because we're going through these cars. We're describing them exactly as they are. We're not buying junk. We don't buy rust. We're explaining how the paint is. And I would say that 99% of the buyers are sight unseen. So they're just listening to what we're saying and buying these cars right off the internet. We'll turn left here and we'll give it a little bit of gas. I won't break boosted so you can feel how, how it is. Here we go. Runs really strong, very healthy and responsive. It also has the uh, brake conversion, so you don't have the power master anymore. You actually have a master cylinder and the brakes feel great. Turning left here, suspension feels great. As I said before, you can hear the turbo. I love it. These are my favorite cars. 954-363-2261 if you have any questions. We're gonna get some outside shots now and let you guys decide if this is the right Grand National for you. Remember, this is VIN number 2800, 1986 Buick Grand National with T-tops, 41,000 miles, slight modifications. 954-363-2261.